Hi, Doctor No Hamiza. My name is Mojin Kang. Can call me CK. My matrix number is A one eight zero one one zero. Today, I will do the presentation for the subject VEV two zero five zero one Electrical Engineering Lab One. The title for experiment six is Power Measurement of Direct Current DC and Alternating Current AC Single Phase Load. I'm from Section Nine Group Six. There are four group members in our group, which is Siti Nurul Jana Bindi Muyatim. The matrix number is A one nine zero one zero eight. And the second one is Wang Wei Chi. The matrix number is A one nine zero zero five. And the third one is me. And the last one is Dufali Bin Chukrifi. The matrix number is C E two one zero one six one. And now I will do the presentation for the activity one. In activity one, we use the Portier software to construct the circuit as shown in Figure six point two, which mentioned the sheet. And there are five different values of resistance will be used in this activity. And now I will show how to do the circuit connection. First, we do the circuit connection by the by connect the DC source parallel it to a DC voltmeter. After that, we we see this it connect to a DC emitter and voltmeter and the last the resistor. First, we set the DC source to sixty volt. After that, we set the resistance to the 100 ohm, and we start to run the simulation, and we wait for a while until the voltmeter get a stable value, and we record down all the value in the DC voltmeter, DC emitter, and the voltmeter into the table 6.1, and we repeat the, and now we repeat the same procedure by changing the resistance to the 200 ohm, which is here. Okay, and now I simulate it, and we, we also wait for a while until the voltmeter get a stable value. And we record down all the all the value into the table 6.1 and we just same repeat the same procedure by changing the resistance to 300, 400 and 500. And that's all my presentation in activity 1 and my friend will continue to the presentation for the activity 2. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fazli Bizkifli. Uh, today I want to present about the electrical power measurement in NAC circuit with resistive load this, uh, which is the activity 2. So, uh, the F is need the supply AC voltage. Uh, the value is the value is 100 volt and 50 hertz. Then the AC volt meter and uh, watt meter and also the resistance resistor. Okay. Uh, for the F, I will simulation. Uh, after we I simulation, we will get the AC voltage that 17.7 this means this we assign the value we get from the voltmeter estimation is always showing in RF value thus the peak voltage of, of 100 volt is equal to 1770.7 VRMS where by using manual calculation in VRMS equal to VP divided square root 2 so that's why we get this answer and as you what okay next the for the watt we get 49.8 watt the power okay next the also nearby 50 watt Next, the resistor is R1 is 100. This for uh, activity activity two, uh, the first activity this which is R1, R1 is 100 ohm. So we get the the reading. So we put into the table. Some that uh, two. We do the right the same thing. So we get the VRMS the Reading for the uh, watt power is 25.0 and this uh, is still 200 ohm. Uh, oh. We do all of that. We do the same procedure. We repeat and for all for all procedure with the uh, different resistor and put the reading and the result into the table. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi doctor, my name is Siti Nurul now and I will continue with activity 3 which is electrical power measurement of the AC circuit with the capacitive load. In activity 3, uh, the circuit consists of an AC voltage with 100 volt peak voltage and 50 hertz frequency, an AC voltmeter, 2 voltmeter where the VA is to measure the apparent power and W to measure the real power, a resistor and a capacitor. So we are going to conduct 5 tests with a different value of capacitor which is 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 microfarad. The value of resistor are same uh, which is 100 ohm. So for the first test, uh, with 2 microfarad capacitor and 100 ohm resistor, so we can run the simulation and we can observe the AC voltage, apparent power and the real power. So here from the simulation, we get 70.7 volt for the AC voltage, 3.14 VA for apparent power and 0.2 watt for real power. So next, we repeat the step uh, by using 4 microfarad capacitor and 100 ohm resistor for the second test. Then we get 70.7 volt 
for the AC voltage, 6.24 VA for FN power and 0.78 Watt for real power. So, we can conduct with test 3, 4 and 5 uh, with different capacitor value. So, the result of this, the result of this, the result of this activity uh, have been recorded in the table 6.3 in the report. That's all from me. Thank you. A very good day to doctor. My name is Mamichi. Next, I will continue the explanation for the activity 4, which is the electrical power measurement of the AC circuit with the inductive loop. In this activity 4, we are going to measure and observe the AC voltage, the apparent power in VA and the real power in watt W. And the circuit consists of one AC voltage with 100 volt of the peak voltage and 50 hertz of the frequency. One AC voltmeter we use to measure the AC voltage. The voltmeters we use to measure the apparent power in VA and the real power in watt W, one resistor and one inductor. And in this activity 4, we are going to conduct five tests with using the same value of resistance for the resistor, which is 100 ohm, and the different values of the inductance for the inductor, which is 0.002H, 0.004H, 0.006H, 0.008H, and 0.01H. Next, for the first test, with using the 100 ohm of the resistor and 0.002H of the inductor, we can run the simulation, and we can observe the AC voltage and the apparent power in VA and the real power in what that we get in this first test. From the simulation, we can observe and get that the AC voltage is 70.7 volt, while for the apparent power in VA, it is 50 VA, and the real power is 50 volt W. Next, we can repeat the steps we conduct for the second test, which is using 100 ohm of the resistor and 0.004H of the inductor. We can observe that the AC voltage is 70.7 volt, and the apparent power is 50 VA, and the real power is 50 volt. And we can conduct for the third test, fourth test, and also the fifth test, with using the different value of the inductor. And from the simulation, we can observe that the apparent power and the real power for the five tests is almost the same between 50 VA and 50 volt. This can be explained that the inductor behave as an open circuit in the AC circuit, and the current for the both resistor and inductor are same, while the voltage across the resistor is in phase with the current, but the voltage across the inductor is a 90 degree out of phase with the current. And the real power can only produce when there is a positive and negative or in phase with the current and voltage. And only the resistive part will produce the watts. And the equality of the adjunct power from and return back to the circuit. And this is the presentation and explanation for the activity 4. This is the presentation and explanation for the simulation of activity 1, 2, 3 and 4 from our group. Thank you.